Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, blue shaded trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, its uh, bases uh, are uh, 10 units uh, and uh, 2 units uh, respectively whereas uh, its uh, side uh, A, D is 5 units whereas uh, its other side B, C is uh, 7 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of the trapezoid. And now let's recall the definition of the trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium a quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid uh, formula. Area is always equal to height uh, h uh, times uh, the base is a plus b all over 2. And here in our case uh, our base a is uh, 10 and our base b is uh, 2. And now our task is uh, to calculate the height uh, h uh, of this uh, trapezoid. And now we are going to think outside the box. And in this uh, next step I have constructed this uh, line uh, B that is uh, parallel to this uh, line uh, AD. So therefore we can see that this segment uh, AB is going to be equal to this segment uh, DE. If this is uh, 2 units then DE segment is going to be 2 units as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length uh, AD is going to be equal to this side length uh, AB. If this is 5, then this AB side length is going to be 5 units as well. And finally, let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, side uh, CD is 10 units. And this uh, tiny segment uh, DE is uh, 2. So therefore, uh, this remaining segment uh, EC is going to be 8 uh, units. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see its uh, side lengths are uh, 5, 7 and 8 uh, units. And now I'm going to assume this angle is uh, theta. And now let's recall the law of cosines for a triangle uh, ABC as you can see over here. And we got uh, three law of uh, cosines as you can see for uh, this uh, triangle. So therefore for our angle uh, theta our opposite uh, side uh, is uh, 7 units. So let's go ahead and apply the law of cosines on this triangle uh, ABC. So we are ended up with uh, 7 square equal to the square of other side uh, 8 square plus uh, 5 square minus 2 times 8 times 5 times cosine of angle theta. Let's simplify furthermore that is going to give us 49 equal to 64 plus 25 minus 80 times cosine of theta. And now we can see 64 plus uh, 25 is going to give us uh, 89 as you can see in this uh, next step. And now I am going to move this uh, negative 80 cosine of theta in the opposite direction and at the very same time I am going to move 49 uh, in the other side. So therefore we can write this thing as uh, 80 times uh, cosine of theta is going to be equal to 89 minus 49 and in this uh, next step 89 minus 49 is going to give us uh, 40 on the right hand side and now we are going to divide both sides by 80 to isolate cosine of theta so this 80 and 80 is gone so therefore uh, our cosine of theta value turns out to be equal to 1 divided by 2. So thus our cosine theta value turns out to be 1 divided by 2. And now we are going to find out the value of uh, sine of theta as uh, well. 
So therefore, let's recall this famous uh, trigonometric identity, sine square theta plus cosine square theta is always equal to 1. And in our case, uh, cosine of theta equals to 1 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to substitute uh, this uh, cosine of theta value as 1 divided by 2 over here. So therefore, I can write uh, sine square of theta plus uh, 1 divided by 2 whole square equals to 1. And in this uh, next step, 1 divided by 2 whole square is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 4. And now we are going to subtract uh, 1 divided by 4 from both sides. We can see on the left hand side they are gone. And if we subtract uh, 1 minus 1 divided by 4, that is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 4. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now I am going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides. And we can see this uh, square and square root uh, undo each other. So therefore, uh, our sine of theta value turns out to be simply square root of 3 divided by the square root of 4 is going to give us 2 at the denominator. So thus our sine of theta value turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 2 as well. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, BF uh, on this side uh, CD. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFB. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, perpendicular BF as our height uh, lowercase uh, h. And now we are going to find out the value of uh, height h. And now let's recall the famous uh, trigonometric ratio sine of theta is always equal to opposite side uh, divided by hypotenuse. So therefore for our angle uh, theta, this height uh, h is our opposite side, whereas uh, this uh, 5 is the hypotenuse. So therefore uh, we can write uh, sine of theta equals to h divided by 5. And now we know our sine of theta value is square root of 3 divided by 2. So I'm going to replace that one with the square root of 3 divided by 2 over here. So therefore we can write uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 equals to h divided by 5. And now I'm going to multiply both uh, sides by 5 to isolate uh, h. And here we can see this 5 and 5 is gone. So therefore our height uh, h turns out to be 5 times square root of 3 divided by 2. So thus the height of this uh, trapezoid turns out to be 5 times square root of 3 divided by 2. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue trapezoid. And now let's recall the area of the trapezoid formula once again. Height h times uh, the base is a plus b all over 2. So therefore our trapezoid uh, area is going to be a half times uh, the height uh, is 5 uh, times square root of 3 divided by 2 times the bases are uh, 10 plus uh, 2. And now we can see if we multiply these two fractions that is going to give us uh, 5 times square root of 3 divided by 4 and this 10 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 12 as you can see in this uh, next step. And if we multiply and simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 15 times uh, square root of 3 square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the trapezoid uh, ABCD area turns out to be 15 times uh, square root of 3 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 25.98 square units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.